Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back to some EVE Online and in today's video we're setting up uh, Co Industries once again. Uh, this time it's a different tower and it is in Yona. Um, so this is not like a, a permanent plan or, or a big part of a, of a new uh, a new step in our EVE Online adventure. Uh, instead this is just to get a bit of a, a, a home base going and um, also to be able to do uh, some stuff that you normally do from stations but a little bit more effectively and a bit more cheaply so i set up the post tower already i'm not going to ask you guys to uh to to watch the video while i uh, anchor and online a tower uh, for half an hour or something like that uh, but i'm going to uh show you guys a little bit of the anchoring and aligning stru uh, of structures just in case uh, people are not familiar with it and stumble upon the video they might find that useful so what will we uh, grab we definitely want both of the labs which which i should have around here somewhere here we go um i think a design lab and an experimental lab is actually all we need to be able to do copying and researching um next up i'll take a couple of defenses so uh, oh actually i gotta be careful because i also want let me first maybe grab uh, i also want a reprocessing array i'm actually doing a bit of mining uh, when there is not a lot to to find out um when when exploring and when there's no one else online to dive in wormholes i actually do a bit of um of mining so reprocessing array could be good uh, definitely more efficient than doing it in the station and what else did I want to take? Um, I think it's an equipment assembly array. The reason for that, I'll show you guys my blueprint hanger. And that was, has really become quite bloated with uh, some of those BPCs that you find in um, like ancillary uh, shield boosters and armor wrappers and stuff like that, which you find in, in exploration sites. So I'm, I'm just going to clean up a little bit, do a bit of, of industry in, in those things. Not the most efficient way of doing it, but I'd like to, to clean that up just a little bit. So why the hell not? Um, silo don't really need any of the other stuff. So instead what I'll take is uh, sensor dampening arrays. Uh, maybe, ooh, that's actually already pretty full. Okay, so we'll start with that. I'm obviously going to put up more defenses, scram, web, couple of uh, batteries that can fire and then of course some ECM as well just in case someone uh, thinks it could be a good idea to, to add us as a war target. Uh, they'll have a tough nut to crack. So let, let's get out there. Let's uh, check out the location of our new POS um, and, and just set up uh, a very basic first uh, set of, of uh, facilities in there. So uh, I have a bookmark here, should be right on the control tower. Um, it's also on a route that is uh, okay once we undock from, from the station where I am based at least. I think some of our other guys are actually in a different station in Yona with most of their stuff. Uh, but uh, since I'll be doing most of the logistics anyway, obviously I have everything sitting in the station. Uh, I think that's the most important. So. Here we go in warp with the rest of the stuff and then we should be landing in our new POS which is a small tower. Um, I'm, I'm really choosing a small one uh, to try and get efficiency out of it and that is because it is a Serpentis control tower small. It's again called Co Industries. The big advantage of that one, let me quickly go for a show info and then you've got fuel requirements only 9 per hour so 10% better than the standard uh, towers pretty good and this should help us basically do research uh, refining and maybe a bit of production uh, more efficiently than what is normally possible so let's start maybe with uh, with a couple of labs here uh, launch for corporation that's all you really need to do then you right click and you press anchor structure uh, let's decide on on a bit of a location for those maybe we'll put them over here that looks pretty good and we can just press anchor here and those are anchoring in five seconds. There we go. The uh, first lab is coming into place. That's done. Then I can just right click and put online. That also takes just a few seconds. And there we go. We're actually ready to do some research. We'll do the same with, uh, maybe I'll do that one a bit more zoomed in. Then we just press anchor structure. I'll, I'll place that one right next to it because this is where we'll do our research anyway and so then I'll make a bookmark close to these. Uh, maybe I'll just keep one space here and then we'll press anchor here which will take five seconds and then here again 
both the laboratories emerging pretty pretty cool um, and this system is going away of course uh, once they hit the new structures but until then why not have a small home base here let's put that one online as well put online that looks pretty good and then a reprocessing array launch for corporation we'll put that one uh, a bit on the other side i think so anchor structure put it at the same height as um as the labs but then we'll just put that a bit more over here anchor here and then i could possibly put the assembly array right next to that and then here we'd have some uh, some industry going and over here some research with two bookmarks i think that's okay then we can put that one online whoa oh we actually don't have enough cpu interesting so i'll have to switch that out a little bit and that probably means that i won't have the cpu for this either let me check it out. Oh, that's actually only 150, so that could work. All right. Uh, interesting. So it has some limits, of course, a small post like this. So we'll press anchor structure. Look at how big that is, though. So we'll put that. Um, let me see here. No, that won't be possible here. That's okay. Anchor here. Where are you? Like that. Let's see if we can put that one online. Obviously, the assembly arrays are quite a bit bigger. Look at that. That's actually, uh, yeah, pretty much half the tower in length uh, and even more width than, than, than the post tower itself. Pretty cool. Again, we'll put that online. Let's see if it works. Yes, that one does work. So, whoa, the reprocessing array, quite costly uh, for a small post. So, may need to just uh, leave that one out. Let's let's quickly check out manage here. How much do I have left? Um, power gets 310,000 CPU, 1250. And these costs, let me see, 25, 12,500. So ooh, I don't have room for that much. I don't have room for that much uh, defenses, right? Oh, 310,000. Actually, we have room for quite a few defenses. So let's launch these for the corporation as well. Uh, the defenses, of course, you can't put those inside the force field. So the one difference is when you press anchor structure, you actually have to choose a location that's a bit outside of the post shield. Now I should be able to just press anchor here. It's too close, so we'll put it a bit further away. Anchor here. Um, we didn't, can't be anchored. With, ooh, it's actually still too close and by quite a bit. All right, we'll do it like this then. That should be possible. And then again, we can put that one online. I'll launch this one for the corporation. Oh, that takes two minutes, really? Oh, and another one that, uh, that I'd forgotten about. Onlining the fences actually takes two minutes, so I'll need to wait just a little bit before I can do uh, the anchoring and the onlining of the other uh, sensor dampening. Uh, turret but uh, that means I can actually go and grab a few other ones put the defenses up uh, the plan for me personally here is to put all the defenses in one spot probably not the most efficient um, they always have their optimals compared to the control tower um, when they are shooting but for the attackers they actually have to get on individual towers so the most efficient is probably to just spread them around your post as much as possible making it a bit harder for uh, the guys that are attacking to to disable all of them um, but the way we're looking at it is uh, we, we want to be able to bring the post down uh, very quickly and efficiently so I think I'll just group them up make one bookmark and if it comes to really a war where we think we'll be threatened I can take them all down in like a single trip. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite surprised. Uh, let me quickly press show info on this one. Requirements, 750 CPU usage. Really don't I have that? Uh, manage. Oh no, it's actually, yeah. The amount used is uh, 1250 out of 1688. So not that much uh, CPU in this uh, Serpentis control tower. And I can online two labs and one manufacturing facility, but no refining facility. So I may not want to do too much uh, mining myself. Better to go for other uh, activities and then bind the, uh, buy the minerals uh, 
Uh, am I going to pick that one up? Actually, I am going to pick that one up then. So you can always just an anchor structure. If he can do that while... No, nope, he can't do that while that one is onlining. But that's almost done, so that's okay. So, an anchor structure, yes. Then we'll also approach that. So hopefully, you know, this can also serve a little bit as a, as a guide to setting up uh, stuff in a boss. Maybe people that have never done it um, can find this useful. Well, the view here with the sun and then the planet and the two labs is pretty good. That should now be scoopable to cargo hold. And in the meantime, maybe I'll just launch this one for the corporation. Anchor structure. And we'll be moving that one quite close to this one. So that's okay. Anchor here. Which takes 5 seconds. In the meantime the reprocessing array is back. And then I can just online these defenses. And let me see. Put online right here. This is one thing that when I, I first set up the pause in the wormhole. I didn't know that you could actually anchor them that far away. Outside of the pause shield. So the way I I used to do it was to always move my Iteron to the location where I wanted the defenses. Drop everything around there and anchor them very close. But there's no need to do that. You can do this 100%. Uh, from a safe place inside the boss shield and this is also a lesson we learned from the Russian if you're ever really under attack it is uh, perfectly possible for you um, to offline uh, the stuff that you don't need bring in even more defenses and then anchor and online them while uh, someone is uh, trying to disable them or attacking uh, your post shield or something like that that is that is absolutely possible and, and maybe it can help you to defend your post uh, overwhelm the defenders if they see well this guy is actively going to add uh, two dozen uh, ECM uh, batteries uh, to, to defend his post so that's not gonna happen tonight it might just help you uh, knowing that you can do all of this from a safe place inside the post shield it's actually pretty important but uh, yeah we are going to get settled here I'll probably just put a bit more of the defenses up here and then we'll start some research and some manufacturing of some of those BPCs that I have lying around uh, should be good times I'm trying to make just a little bit of extra money and obviously I'm waiting for uh, the, the structures you know more information on the structures would be really welcome from CCP um, because that's where I want to put a lot of my effort and my planning into I can't wait uh, to try out uh, I don't know, maybe a laboratory, that sounds interesting. A trade hub sounds really interesting as well. Uh, but even a manufacturing array, uh, those looked really cool um, on the uh, on the concept arts. So it's it's okay. Um, we are going to do a little bit of everything, I think, from our high sick base. But for now, it's a, a post that we're setting up. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.